bring the coaching staff together uh, in one place, which looks a little different than it normally does, but wanted you just to be able to hear from us as a team, uh, let us check in with you, see how you guys are doing, and also see if there's ways that we can help and some things that we've kind of been doing uh, since we've been away. So what we're gonna do is each coach is gonna kind of go around and they're gonna say a little short piece on just how movement it's changed over the last little bit with the gym being closed and really how it's impacted them uh, just in, in kind of processing all the different things that's been happening um, and just, you know, maybe some of the decisions that you've had to make or just in the overall way that you feel. I think it's looked a lot different for most of us than it typically does. So we thought it would be cool if you kind of heard from us some of the things that we've been doing. So first, Chastity's gonna walk us through a little bit of kind of what she's been doing and how things have been going. Go ahead, Chastity. Okay, hello, Rima family. Um, I, I have immediate family members with serious underlying health issues. So during this quarantine time, that's a lot on my mind. And I think like with all of us, you wonder how, who's gonna be with us when we come out of this. And um, so exercise during this quarantine time for me has been about bringing peace to my mind and calming the uncertainty that tries to rise up in me. I stay consistent working out each day, sometimes twice a day, because it's a time I can give over my worry. I can concentrate on my thankfulness about my health and I can honestly worship God with the full capacity of my lungs, or if I'm practicing cleans and snatches, which sometimes I get to during this time, I can be more focused on just the excellence of the movement. And um, then being excellent with movement or trying to the best of my ability becomes a part of my worship every day. And honestly, I can then look so forward to exercising um, each and every day. So a lot like the post that I just read from Rima on email was like, I make that contract with myself the night before, like, what is tomorrow going to look like so that I can get in my worship with my body, you know, and my mind. So hopefully that helps some of you just to think about um, not being so serious in competition right now, but that you can actually heal your mind and, 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 and just worship with exercise. Thank you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Caitlin, how's it been going on your end? Yeah, um, I could be pretty lengthy on this. So if anybody wants more on this story, just contact me later and I can tell you the reasons why I'll think this way and what kind of got me to it. Um, but really before Dusty had even asked us this question, um, yesterday I had already been thinking about it and just trying to figure out like, what am I supposed to learn during this time? And so I started like really going through it and training for this year and last year kind of looked similar to me because I was kind of sporadic. Um, but I just had different goals for this year. And then it kind of like everything keeps shutting down my goals that I have. Uh, and it's like, dang, one more thing, like it's one more roadblock. So I know how you guys feel without having the gym and the routine. So routine's really important for me, but like, it doesn't look the same kind of like for everybody. I mean, I'm not able to lift a barbell at all. And some of you guys are, but like for me, that's just something that's very different. But what I came to the like epiphany of is that over the last like decade, I have set my body up to overcome and just like be like a vessel during this time. So, I mean, it's changed and yeah, maybe my fitness looks different right now, but I have so many different avenues of fitness that I can use during this time, whether it's walking, yoga, stretching, you know, CrossFit style workouts, going to the park and kind of like what Chastity said, you know, just focusing on the movement and the quality of it and being able to just get out of your head and not the competition. So I think like the biggest thing that I want people to take away that I learned is you're not limited to one specific place to train. You're not limited to one specific group of people or one style of training. I mean, 
we all have different things that we've done over the years. So like, just bring all those back out and which one works for that day. You know, it's not going to be the same every day. It's going to change, but um, you know, knowing like, what is it that we're going to get out of this? We're all going to grow out of it and we're all going to evolve. And that's kind of like what stuck out to me is like, how can I use what I've already done over the last decade to help me now? And then it's just going to help later on. So yeah. I can talk for more, yeah. but I'll, I'll keep it there. Good word. Storm, what about you? Uh, well, everyone will be happy to know I've been doing much more conditioning lately. Okay. To my chagrin. Um, first off, uh, I would say, movement has uh, just been the thing that I can control in my life. So um, I th uh, with me, I know personally that when something happens, I want to, I, I try to like research as much as I can read as many news articles and things like that. And uh, after the first like week or so, I was getting really uh, exhausted and mentally like burned out and just kind of um, feeling that pressure on my, myself uh, that, um, I couldn't control anything. And um, then I just kind of came to a piece about knowing what can I control. And uh, the number one thing that I can control is uh, my attitude and movement. So that's what movement has been for me. It's been to reset whenever my brain has is gets into uh, like any anxiety, whether it's over, uh, you know, virus or jobs or, or whatever it might be. I what can I control? I can go out, I can do a little workout and then I can just focus on what I can do in any given day in any given workout give it my best effort and um, that's really been like the biggest takeaway for me is movement is one thing I can control and not uh, it's helped me not dwell on the things that I can't control good what about you rock star <laughs> I guess I would just have to kind of build off what Storm said um, kind of just you know Now's the time we get to see how awesome our community is. Um, while we come to the gym, it's a great place to work out, but um, anyone that has been present in that gym, it's just nothing but a dungeon if you've had to walk through it. Um, so without that energy, the people, the smiles, um, filling it, it's pretty much just very empty. Um, so people just need to remember like in hard times like this, that uh, you know that's why we have the community to lean on each other, to be supportive in any way we can. Um, and then building off Storm's mindset approach. I mean, you can be one of two ways right now. It doesn't matter what side of the spectrum you're on, whether you're, uh, you know, pro-quarantine, anti-quarantine. I think that's kind of irrelevant. But uh, we can all control positive mindset versus negative mindset. And, you know, negativity is going to bleed and breed more negativity. So I think if we can just try and be positive, still focus on the fact that, you know, the water's running. You know, hopefully you're living uh, in a place that has climate control, you're sleeping in the bed, your family's fed and taken care of. Um, so if we still have that right now, day to day, and we still have the awesome people reaching out to one another, I think that's, uh, you know, that's something we, that's what we don't need to take for granted in times like this. Because um, I do think the doors will open. I think they'll open sooner than we think. And uh, hopefully we're in a place both economically and just as a community to really, uh, Really, really take back what's been uh, what's been missing out of all of us, which is just being around each other. So I think just uh, once we have that opportunity again, we really need to focus and be present in that moment of just how awesome that is and how awesome you guys are as members, as my fellow coaches. Just it's uh, not seeing people for three weeks. It's just it's been really weird for me, and I know it's weird for everyone else. But it um, it'll make it that much more of an amazing experience when we do see each other and have those experiences again. So. Just that's all I got to say about that. Good, man. What you got, Josh? So, did you call on me? I did. Okay, it cut out. Did you say something snarky or were you nice about it? No, nah, man, I said your name. Yeah, how about them tattoos? Hey, <laughs> trying to flex like every time. I just keep doing this, just acting like I'm itching. Uh, <laughs> as I was saying earlier, um, I don't think you'll have to say a whole lot once people see your hair. They're going to be like, man, has dude been like in a quarantine for three weeks? Dude, it's for real. I'm not cutting it anytime soon either. So once we're all good to go, it's going to keep going. Um, but so here's what I think. I think there's a lot of things that we still can control. And I think the three most important for me are uh, when I get up in the morning. I feel like that's a huge deal. 
uh, keep that the same no matter what. Uh, when I eat, I think that's a huge deal. And then obviously movement, I can still decide to train um, pretty much whenever I want and, and still do that. Um, and then in terms of the movement itself, uh, I think it's cool to have, be, have been proven correct over all of these years. So, you know, stumbled on CrossFit however many years ago, 12 years ago or whatever. And 12 years ago, even before that, uh, it was, you're doing this to practice for the unknown and unknowable. And if you're not more rewarded today, that knowing that you chose that stance and you should be comfortable in that, and then having bolstered yourself against kind of what's going on today, I think that's huge. Um, and that alone gives me a huge peace of mind to know that the movements that I was already doing beforehand, I can continue today. And they are what is protecting me from everything that's going on. Uh, and if, if that doesn't calm you down to know that you were there and then to just have fun with it, like a whole point of the unknown and unknowable is getting to do like weird stuff. Uh, and that's fun, man. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing and it doesn't have to be, um, in a rut of, of whatever the movement needs to look like. It can be inventive, uh, and it can be with cinder blocks, sandbags, um, filling five gallon buckets into slosh pipes, like whatever it is, man. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's super rewarding and that's what, that's kind of where I hang my hat and that's what I've been doing. Yeah, that's good. Logan, what you got, man? I think Logan might be having some technical difficulties. Oh, there he is. Keeps good, Logan. Am I up now? Yeah. Yep. You're up. You just said. I'm so sorry. Yep. Go, go right ahead, man. You got the floor. All right. Um. So fitness for me this week, last week, and the week before, um, have definitely been different. It's been so. I'm always used to being in a gym ever since I started working out. Um. And I really, really want to thank. CrossFit, thank CrossFit, um, because if it wasn't for that, who knows what I would be doing right now. Um, and I think a lot of people in that situation, um, we just don't know really what to do without the barbell, without weights. Um, but I think this is a time that we all can get outside and really find out what we, what we can do. That's what CrossFit's about. It's about being able not to just have one avenue of fitness, kind of like Caitlin said, but being able to do anything that we want. So I think it's a really good time. Um, of course, not a great time, but I think we can learn a lot from this. I think we get caught up in life a lot, um, just with work, with jobs, with kids, family, with everything like that. Um, and I think this is a good time to kind of take a step back and see what you have. Yes, it's not the most ideal time, but it is a good time to reflect on your life and kind of realize that it's really not that bad. We actually are doing great. Um, and I think what this is going to show us as kind of a CrossFit family is that we do love our family. We love all of you guys, all of the coaches. And I think being apart for three weeks or three more weeks, maybe three more months, who knows. Um, but it's really going to show us how close we are and how much kind of we thrive off of each other, not only in the gym, but also outside of the gym. So I want to thank all of you guys just for like being there and definitely the coaches. Um, guys are awesome yeah man that's good stuff so uh you got to hear from each one of the coaches and everybody had some really great things and to say what we want you guys to know is that we're here and we want to help you in any way that you need us to, uh, to help you and assist you we've created lots of different ways for you guys to move um, whether that be the at home workouts that we're creating just every single day along with the videos they're, they're posted on our website as well. So lots of different content. Then on the weekly spreadsheet that has all the days listed, we've created a lot of different tabs, kind of subcategories down at the bottom that have body weight workouts, uh, workouts that you can do with kettlebells and dumbbells. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that we've created for you all just to give you uh, more opportunities to move and do some things that maybe you haven't had an opportunity to do. Okay. Uh, maybe you have seen whatever it is that's going on on social media, uh, for the last couple of days, uh, between storm and Caitlin, uh, you can hop on the zoom classes, uh, that are going on. We've got the Friday nights now at seven o'clock that's happening. So 
we just want to be here. We want to keep being present, giving you guys lots of different opportunities to move, uh, be encouraged, and just feel supported. So uh, if there's anything that we can do for you, you know where to find us. Have a good day. Hey, wait, one thing I want to say is I realized that I, being outside of the gym, I'm more fit than I ever thought. I just compared myself in the gym too much. So I'm way more fit in real life than I ever knew. And I was really hard on myself. So that's something else that I've learned is like giving some grace to your body. Like we're all actually really, really fit people. So like do some fun things and we're all going to be in the same boat when we come back and we're all going to get better. So like keep doing it, man.